Hey everybody, it is the 78th night of Vlogmas, and I am just coming back at you exhausted today. Um, we are still in the process of packing up the store. It's going okay. I am going to try to um, put some footage in of when we were packing up. I don't know if it's going to work. I've been having some trouble with edited videos, so I haven't been doing videos where I've had to do too much editing lately, but I'm going to give it a try, so we'll see how it goes. If if not, it, it won't be part of the video <laughs> if I can't get it to edit. Um, what else are we doing? That's basically all that we're doing. We go over to the store and spend a few hours uh, packing up. It is kind of exhausting because we have to pack everything out up and you know down up and down the stairs up and down up and down up and down we were at cvs today i don't know about where you are but for some reason cvs was packed to the gills today i don't know if it was people trying to get their booster shot or uh get vaccinated at long last but that that was exciting haven't had to stand online anywhere in a minute, so I was just a little surprised. We still have our 30% off sale going on, so do check out our website, sendatcheap.com. The 30% off code is yarn haul. Let me see, do I have a banner that says that? Yeah, there it is. That's a, our code for getting 30% off. And most of the yarn, I think almost all the yarn is 30% off right now. And our hand dyes are 20% off, no coupon code needed. Tools too. So if you're looking for new needles, Yarn Haul will get you 30% off of your needles and hooks and notions. So other than that, I have been trying to get organized for next year. I want to, I have a lot of making that I'm thinking about right now and planning out. I just, I just bought a pattern. Romy Hill has a sale going on, by the way, if you like Romy Hill patterns. She does a lot of beautiful lace and she literally has a pattern for everything. So if you are a garment maker, there are garments. If you are an accessory person, scads. And I think the, oh, and it's only good for, you know what? This will probably be over by the time you guys see this. Um, never mind. <laughs> it is, it's uh, for solstice night. I'm, you'll see this tomorrow. I'm recording it the night before. but I was thinking about doing a mohair wrap. And sure enough, I was able to use her Solstice 2020, that's the code, Solstice 2021. And I got 50% off the pattern for the stole I want to do. And the only change, <laughs> I know it sounds terrible. I don't know why I always change up a pattern a little bit, but the only change I'm going to make to this one is I'm going to do it on bigger needles. She says US 8, I'll probably do it on a US 10 to get it closer to the size I kind of envisioned. I am still working on my Christmas sweater, doing the sleeves now, two at a time, yay. But I will be talking more about that in next week's podcast, which will be the last podcast we do for 2021. Can you believe it? We're almost at the end of another year. It's crazy. I know these things come the same time every year, but some years it just, you're not ready. I know I'm not. It just kind of sneaks up on you. So for those of you who did not see last week's podcast, it was a good one. Go back and check it out. Um, 
what we decided to do is we're going to do 13 episode, let's call them seasons for lack of a better word. And after 13 episodes, we're going to take a couple of weeks off, at least from podcasting. And then we'll be coming back in two weeks. And I will put the exact schedule in the description bar of this video, and it will be in the description bar of our 13th episode. I suck at dates, so I don't dare just give them out off the top of my head. So I just want to ask a couple of questions this time around, and I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. Are you already thinking about the things you might want to make for next year? And if you are, what are you thinking about? I've already got a couple of ideas. Matter of fact, I'm a little bit past the idea stage for a couple of things. I've already started swatching one item. And I've done vision boards for two, <laughs> for two items that I want to do. And the more I plan, the more I really want to just go ahead and cast on. You know how you get cast on itis. That is apple cider, by the way. Delightful. Really hot apple cider. So I have a little bit of, you know, cast on itis, but I'm trying to be very disciplined and put every minute I have for knitting into finishing my sweater. I would love to have it done on time. Is anybody planning a New Year's cast on? I am hoping to be able to cast something on, on New Year's Day. That would be kind of cool. But it all depends on me having this sweater completed. Because that is the bargain I've made with myself. You, you, you can start something else when this thing is done. And I still have my painting honeycomb shawl to work on. But we shall see. Like I said, I'm trying to be disciplined about it, but I'm not always successful on that front. Nothing lets you know how much stuff you have more than having to pack it up and move it. It was shocking <laughs> how many individual items we have, but we are mostly done with the small things. Tomorrow, I'm going to have to take my drill in and start working on the racks that we have hung on the wall. And we're going to have a friend help us with two just impossibly heavy items that we didn't think we'd be able to get down the stairs safely. So we have that arranged for tomorrow. So that's what's up for tomorrow. I'm hoping that I won't be quite so tired when we get done tomorrow, but it's still going to be a lot of trips up and down the stairs. But I think it's coming toward it's coming towards the end. We'll, we'll see. We shall see. The other thing I've been getting done is, you know, getting things organized to make my crafting easier. Um, my needles have just been in complete disarray. And I mean, for a minute, you know, some stuck in old projects, some hiding in bags all over the place. 
So what I did last night, and if you'd like to see the process, I did a video of myself organizing my, my needle collection last night, and it was so satisfying. It was so, so satisfying. I mean, and it just, it didn't, I thought about it longer than it actually took to do. I thought I would be at it half the night. I was like, oh, if you if you film this, you're going to have to edit this the heck out of this video. Nope. I would say a good 95% of the job took about 30 minutes. And in those 30 minutes, I got my double points completely sorted, all the sets put together, and I had a needle roll for them, put that in there. I had a little notebook system for my corded needles, and it was off to the races. And it's going to make, you know, just getting set up to start a new project so much easier because I don't know about you, but I've had times when I was able to find every needle except the one I was looking for. So you ever need a 5.5 millimeter and all you can five, find is either a five millimeter or a six. <laughs> so that kind of aggravating stuff, I think is gonna be a thing in the of the past for me. So I got a little inspired and this morning I organized all of my miscellaneous notions and tools. So, you know, all that other stuff, the needle points and the 10,000 stitch markers, tape measures, all of that. I had, I already had this box from, um, kind of from Joann's one time they were having a sale on sewing boxes. And I really just kind of like the design. And I got it because I probably had a 60% off coupon. And I had been storing some things in there, but it wasn't really thoughtfully arranged. So this morning I gathered everything up and corralled everything. So now if I want to reach in there, it'll be easy to find a scissor or a tape measure or what have you without having to take out a search warrant and go all over the place looking for it. So that, that feels like an accomplishment because I haven't been able to get that straightened out for a long time either. If you would like to see pictures of it, I have some up on Instagram. Our Instagram account is AKS Yarn Store. But it's going to make, like I said, just getting going on something new super easy. And I've taken the vow that whatever I take out, I'm going to put back. <laughs> so that it'll be easy to find the second time, too. I have some old projects that I'm also thinking about just frogging because I know I'm not going to finish them. I had started an Einstein coat. It's an older pattern from a book called The Knit Stitch. It's a really good book though. It's about all the things you can do with just the knit stitch. There's a couple of them in the series. I don't remember who wrote it exactly, but if you look up The Knit Stitch, you'll, you'll find the author. Um, there's a knit stitch, the pearl stitch. And I think there's one on color. Really interesting deep dive into each individual stitch. And the Einstein coat, it's a really cute sweater. It's a, it's a cute coat, but honestly, I think it just bored me to tears because it's miles and miles of garter stitch. So I'm going to reclaim that yarn because it's a nice yarn and I like it. And I'd really like to make it into something I will actually finish and use. But now I know that I will I will absolutely never 
finish a project that large that's all garter stitch. It was it was incredibly boring to to knit, and I got very bored of it and put it away for a long time. I just, as a matter of fact, I pulled the needles out of it yesterday so I could just put them away. So I will also frog back that project. Is anybody going to be frogging anything that you just acknowledged? Nope, I'm not going to finish this. It's really not tickling my fancy anymore. I think that's really the best thing to do. You'll, you'll get your needles back, you'll get your yarn back, and you'll be able to move on to something that you like much more. Has anybody taken a look at the new pom pom? I think no, it's it's from I think it's from Lynn Magazine. Maybe I have to look and see who made it. It's a book called Worsted that was put together by Amy of La Bien Ami. If you look here on YouTube, you'll find that there she did a knit night where she featured almost all the designers who participated in the book. And I thought it was a really fun listen. I was um, listening to it this morning when I was getting some morning knitting done. Like I said, every minute that I have to knit, I'm going to devote to this sweater. So I was working on my sweater this morning and having a very nice knit night experience with La Bien Ami and everybody. <laughs> so I will include a link to that in the description bar because I think it'll be really enjoyable. And it was a great sneak peek into the book. I'm considering getting a copy. The book is called Worsted and it features all patterns made in La Bien Ami's new yarn, which is, I think it's called, it's like a Cori I forget, I forget what it's called, but um, it's her new worsted weight hand dyed. And it's sim very similar, she says, to Helix, if you know La Pianami's yarn. But I thought some of the patterns were really exciting. And I like that they're in worsted weight because none of them is going to take eons to knit. So if you're looking for a good listen while you're getting some of your work done, I think that's a great candidate. And yes, you can do two sleeves at a time on a top-down sweater. <laughs> you can kind of do anything two at a time. It doesn't save you time. What it does is make things pretty much identical in size. Because I knew I would be changing up the sleeves decreases a bit. So I decided to do it two at a time so I wouldn't have to make really detailed notes or try to remember, heaven help me, <laughs> what I did on one sleeve and then duplicated on the other. It's all happening on both sleeves pretty much one right after the other, so I don't have the issue of keeping detailed records and trying to replicate something I did you know, a while ago. Anyway, I think that is it for me tonight. I am going to keep on waiting for a little bit when I'm done with this, and then I think I'm going to turn it early because it's going to be another Heavy lifting day for me tomorrow. Anyway, you guys have a good night. And check out that podcast. I think you'll like it. Night.